years, Intel uh, has learned a lot of things about smartphone silicon and system design, and how these uh, best apply the strengths of what we're learning to Intel architecture into these new devices. Our goal here is not easy, but it's very simple. We want to make Intel architecture the platform of choice for smartphone ecosystems. I'm happy to say today that we're making real progress on this goal. This phone that was used earlier in the uh, demo, Continuum demo, is a, a Medfield-based phone, Intel architecture phone, running the latest version of Android's phone software. And it's a full reference design, which means that it's available to our customers to take into production as they see fit, perhaps with different skins and so forth. This is a significant step forward in our commitment to bring Intel-based phones to the market in the first half of 2012. Today, I'm also very pleased to announce a development partnership with Google around Android. To describe the details of this partnership, I'd like to have you join me in welcoming to the stage Andy Rubin, who's Senior Vice President of Mobile at Google. Good morning, Andy. You know, as you know, Andy, Google and Intel have been working together for as partners in computing solutions for many years in data centers, on Google TV, on Chrome OS, and, and now our smartphone design teams have come together uh, and optimizing our silicon, our design for Android through the collective work of our, our engineers, and I'm really excited about it. Oh, thank you, yes, absolutely. <laughs> the, uh, that was my cue. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the partnership has been great. We've, uh, we've optimized uh, a lot of our products, including what's running in the data center. Every time somebody types a query, it's obviously being handled by the IA architecture. I'm really excited to be here at IDF. Uh, looking forward to what we have in store in the future. Well, we have lots of products coming out that I hope uh, I hope you guys can take advantage of and phones and tablets and, and we're excited about optimizing our silicon and reference designs around not just the current releases of Android but the future ones as well. Very good. Well, let's talk about the future a little bit. Um, we, can, uh, we can talk pretty openly. We have a pretty, uh, pretty tight-knit family of, uh, of developers we're here. We're all under NDA. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, uh, well, look, we're here to announce a continuation of the strategic alliance between the two companies. Um, we're going to uh, collaborate very closely to make sure that Android is optimized the best it possibly can be uh, for the Intel architecture. Uh, going forward, all future releases of Android uh, will be optimized, you know, everywhere from the very low levels at the, at the kernel and taking advantage of uh, memory management and all the great features of these low-power IA architecture, all the way up to multimedia, 3D graphics, you know, everything that's, uh, that's part of the system, uh, system on a chip today. Uh, very excited to be here and very excited about, uh, about working closely with the uh, with the colleagues and engineers at Intel. Well, sir, we, uh, every time we've collaborated with Google, good things have come out of it. So I'm, I'm excited and have high expectations around this as well. Very good. And I'm, I'm eager to see the innovation that the, that the developers create as well. So, uh, so thank you very much for having me. Thanks, Andy.